Sybil, 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 Sybil. Good morning, Mr. Joyner, and good morning, Mr. Tori. It's Wednesday, Guy Tori in the funny chair. What up, Guy? What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? It's Guy Tori, the place to be. I got fallouts and gripes on this MIC. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Sybil. Good morning, listeners. <laughs> Everything good out in, the, out in L.A.? Everything good, man. About 80%. You know, getting the color back in my face a little bit. The color back in your face. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm down for the count. Under the weather a little bit. Okay. Afraid. Damn right. his goods. But he's 80% and he's in the game. My man. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Chicken Sandwich Wars. Enters, oh. <laughs> entering into the ring, Kentucky Fried Chicken. And, and Kentucky donuts. Fried Chicken is coming out. Donuts. With- <laughs> donuts. I read that. Donuts. And chicken. <laughs> I am man. so in. You in? Oh, Are you? heck yeah. I, 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 oh, yeah. This is not a new discovery now. No. No, no, no. People have been doing, putting chicken between two donuts and and, 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 and eating it for a in while. In world? I've never heard of that in my life. No? No. Well, you heard there was an overnight DJ that I worked with uh, back in the day, and he was a heavy, heavy guy. And he said, I can't wait. I'm going to get me some donuts and put, two, uh, and put a chicken thigh in between them. Well, I mean, <laughs> and that was that was over twenty five years ago. It was a heavy guy. Yeah, it was a heavy guy. Yeah. So now, so that's what KFC is testing right now. They're testing the chicken and donut sandwich. Where's that overnight DJ? <laughs> I don't know. He he Wherever he is, he had a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, is he, is he on the KFC board? <laughs> <laughs> or or on a slab somewhere? Yeah, <laughs> I thought more you than like that. on a slab somewhere because this was over 25 years ago. I'm so not mad DJ. at that. That is yeah. like a PMS dream. <laughs> that really is. That Donuts is or if you're pregnant, yes. huh? Yes. Oh my God. A, a a chicken patty. I mean, we have chicken and waffles. You have. Yeah. But that, well, that I, I didn't learn that until I got to Los Angeles. Like what? Yeah. Yeah. And then okay, you know. but that was 30 years ago. <laughs> and no, and it's okay. been going. And chicken and waffles have been around forever. And 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 like Tom said, people have been doing the the, the donuts and waff and the chicken. I think that's a great idea on their part. Chicken and, and donuts, and it's, they got to go a different way, yeah. you know, than everybody else. So <laughs> and they have right, Cheetos. KFC. So it's being tested right now, only in selected locations. More than forty locations right now: Pittsburgh, Norfolk, Richmond. Oh, I'm heading to Richmond this weekend. I'll okay, try okay, you, you, you I'll gonna be try? in Richmond, Virginia this weekend. Yes, I fly yeah. in tonight. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna try it. All right, all right, come back and tell us about it. I have a right. report on your desk in the morning. Sir. Okay, uh, are you ready for the Whitney Houston hologram tour? Man, I saw that. Huh? I saw that. I need. There's to a, a hologram, hologram of Whitney Houston, and it sings, it dances, it. And it's going on tour. Yeah. First so, Europe and then the States. Yeah. You going? She got more days dead than, I'm, than I have alive. <laughs> <laughs> you going? I'm, I, you know, I'm, I'm on the fence. Sybil, are you, are, you, are you going to go to the Whitney Houston hologram tour? I miss Whitney enough to want to see this. Really? Yeah. I, yeah. And I, I know I, they did it with Tupac uh, you know, at Coachella years ago. Yeah, but they no, they're going on no, this tour. Is, this, this one is, is going on tour though. Yeah, like, this is going out yeah. there. They've already okay. booked they've already booked dates uh overseas. I wonder what's in Whitney's writer, hologram writer. <laughs> 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 like what what Fuji what Fiji water does she need? Or, well, I it's all, what's in it's that all the family that's in charge of this that will be on right. yeah. rider, so right. yeah. they want. Uh, the executor and all Sybil, that. Sybil, my man, Al Roker, is going to have a hip replacement. Man. After yeah. having both knees done. Ugh. And you did uh, just he's the opposite suffering. of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I haven't had both knees done. Well, um, you've had a knee. You First you had hip, and then you had knee. So now he's having, he's had knee and now hip. So you can give him a little. But you didn't have any problems with the hip replacement. No. The hip replacement was was uh, like a head cold compared to knee replacement. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. So this will be wow. easy for him. Well, you call it easy. It's like it's Well, like, no, I mean, know, I mean it's by it's like it's like doing a little jail well, time. You, you just said you just said it was a head cold compared stick. to Yeah. So I mean 
compared yeah. to if he's if he's done both knees. My God. That's so for him to for him part. to decide to do this, that means he was going through a lot of pain. Cause, and you could see that just yeah. from him walking from the couch to the board <laughs> to, to the to weatherboard, the board. <laughs> it so looked painful. It did, it did, it did. Yeah, and it for was him to decide when he started, to do it, it was sunny by the time he got there. Right, the weather <laughs> completely changed. And you know, this is this is the fall season, so this is the big ratings season for him to for him to say, "I'm going to stop and and do this at a time when it's you know." It's rating season like this. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. He was in a lot. He says he said we went to Greenland with NASA to study climate change, and that cold just tore him up. Ooh. And he said that's it. I'm going under the knife. So he's gonna take the next two weeks off of the Today Show and uh, recoup from uh, hip replacement. Well, good luck to him. Yeah. Good luck yeah. to him. Mm-hmm. Good luck to him. Yeah. All right, here's a woman who was arrested after she bought an AK-47 <laughs> legally and then threatened her old school. She was arrested, $250,000 $250, bond. You said woman, but she was a child. Yeah, 18-year-old. 18 years old. Yeah. Man. Uh, she said she said she's going to shoot up her old school with 400 people in it. Man. So they arrested her. Good. Yeah. Yeah, good. But People. when she gets out, you know, she can get an A K forty seven and do and and, and, and carry out her threat it. if she wants I hope to. Not. Well let's hope. Hopefully she learned from this. Mm I don't know. Well, Meanwhile, Tom, R. Kelly, the lady who posted that oh, that bond of a hundred thousand dollars wants her money back. Because yeah. R. Kelly ain't getting out of jail. Yeah, so good luck. so she so she went to the judge. She said, "Judge, he's not getting out of jail, so there's no no need of having a bond. Right. He's going. He has to show up in court. Can I get my hundred thousand dollars back?" Uh, Judge said, uh, "No. We need that. It's in the system now. It's, yeah. And she said he's a, ma- she he's a man back? of means. He he should be able to handle this himself. He was a man of means when you put that money up. Yeah. You should, <laughs> yeah." And he's not ever getting out of jail. He's got to show up in court. But she has a she does have a case though, right? No, not really. Not according to the judge. Not according to the judge. Yeah. I mean, she can appeal certainly, but right. He's oh, if he's every, not getting. But no, I was a, just gonna say everybody's got a, a a chance for appeal, but according to this, the judge says you, you well, should know the, what you were getting into. Don't you get the money back when, when, when his case finally comes up? But how long with all these yeah. other cases against yeah. him? Well, yeah. he's not. But 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 like the, like she's thinking he's not going to get out, so he might as well go ahead and just give, give me my money. money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a look. I, I'd be upset, too. I mean, I wouldn't have been foolish enough to put the money up in the first damn place. But, and maybe that's the lesson learned. Like, yeah. That's yeah. an expensive lesson to learn. Yeah, it is. All right, and I'm willing to I'm willing to say it now, Sybil. Michael Jordan is the greatest of all time. Woo! You know yeah, why? I know why. You know why? Yes, sir. All right. He's coming out with a tequila. Hallelujah. And and that did it? <laughs> yeah. That did it. Okay. That yeah. did it. Okay. That did it. I will forgive him because I was never a Michael Jordan fan. Uh, solely because he won his first ring against my Lakers. That's the only reason why. I'm petty. You and that high school girl, you all just can't get over stuff, can you? <laughs> hey, just, hey, I'm telling yeah, you, I'm man. petty, I'm petty, You're I'm petty. You're right about that stuff. But Michael Jordan, I forgive you now. You are in my good spirits because you created a spirit. <laughs> Michael Jordan coming out with his own tequila. It's Guy Tory Wednesday. Guys got a gripe coming up. 10 past the hour, TJMS.